What's going on YouTube? It's Big Varanis. So, going over surface area to volume. I'm gonna get you to use a quick example. I'm gonna get you to use pots and the size of the flame on your stove. If you turn your stove on the highest flame, okay, kids don't try this if you're watching my videos, don't burn down your house. Now, why am I explaining and why am I using pots? Real quick, when you go on forums, when you go online, everybody says keep your hatchlings, keep your babies at 110 to 130 degrees, they're basking meaning that light bulb is making that basking area 110 to 130 degrees. So a lot of people don't know why. It has to do with surface area to volume ratio, and now I'm gonna go into the pots. Your small pot has a smaller volume, because a smaller pot, and a higher surface area, okay? Meaning all the or the, with the metal, the, the metal that the pot is made of, not the inside of the pot. The inside of the pot is the volume, the outside is the surface area, okay? If you have that on a high flame, it might heat up in less than a minute, 45 seconds, okay? Depending on what type of pot it is, whatever. Now, if it's a larger pot, it has a little bit more surface area, okay, a little bit more metal, and it it's a deeper pot, so it'll have a greater volume. So it's gonna take a lot longer for that pot to heat up, all right? Now here's where the difference is. That pot may take longer to heat up, but it's gonna hold heat a lot longer. And you can do this test with water, you can boil some water, and you can see how quickly one pot, the smaller pot actually loses warmth or heat versus the larger pot. Not telling anybody to do that, but that's the thing. So, we have a smaller monitor lizard versus a larger monitor lizard. You're gonna need those high temps because heat is escaping that smaller animal's body a lot quicker than it would if that animal was full grown. When I mean full grown, I mean like, in my case, or in mine, I'm talking about six, seven foot animals versus a two foot animal. Okay, so I'll have those 125, you know, 110 to 125 basket temps just to make sure that my hatchlings can regulate their, their body temperatures well because I'm keeping it in a box, okay? My larger animals, they can regulate, regulate their temperature a lot better and a lot longer. Sometimes they go into the night and they're moving them around in the PM, okay? I don't use as high temps. I use maybe 110, 115 basking. That's me, I'm not gonna argue that point. I'll explain that in a couple more videos because this is, this, this, these videos alone is gonna be probably like five parts in three minutes. So that surface area to volume ratio, okay? Scientifically, I think it's like SA colon vol or SA colon V. You learned it in bio class, you learned it in physics class, you probably fell asleep. If you didn't and you already know it, you're probably either a biologist or a physics guy or you just maybe you're a construction guy, whatever. But that's why everybody screams out 130 degree basket temps. I'll let you